Are you wondering if you are ready to expand and scale your business to a second location? Today, I'm going to give you six signs that will let you know if you are ready to grow. Hey, millionaires, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday, January 12, 2024. I've had the bug to scale my convenience store to a second location for quite a while. Last year, I even bought a commercial property, which I thought was going to be in and out groceries number two. But God had other plans for this property. We got to remember, God's plans are always better than ours. After careful thought and prayer, I decided to sell the property via owner finance to a Christian pastor. We conditioned the building as a church and he is now paying us a mortgage note as his lien holder. We are making a good profit and collect almost $4,000 a month in passive income. As mentioned in my previous video, I am proud to announce that last year we crossed the million dollar mark in sales. I always fantasize what it would be like to own several convenience stores throughout town. I currently pay myself $3,000 a week from my convenience store. Just imagine what it would be like to replicate my convenience store and open a second location in another neighborhood, and then a third and a fourth in the future. Although a brick and mortar business is not as scalable as an online business, if you can get your first store operating efficiently, you can most definitely replicate what is already working and little by little scale one store at a time. It won't be cheap though. Opening a convenience store can be pricey especially if you build from ground up. But there are ways to purchase businesses from retiring convenience store owners who often sell for cents on the dollar and even via owner financing. A good example of this is a convenience store I helped a relative acquire and purchase a few years ago. She paid basically peanuts and is now financially independent. She and her husband quit their day jobs and are now running the business with the help of their team. Speak about the American dream. I see it as a game. Little by little, you start conquering neighborhoods by serving different communities. And by the time you know it, you have successfully built an empire of convenience stores, just like the 7-Eleven gas stations or other supermarket in your city. So on to the video. The first sign that you are ready to expand to a second location is that you are working on your business, not in your business and have streamlined your operational systems. So what do I mean by this? I personally think that this is the most important sign out of this list. It is vital that you don't fall into the trap that you must run the day-to-day -day operation of your business because if you do, congratulations. You just bought yourself a job and not an actual business. Many people think that no one will be able to do the job like them, so they decide not to delegate. They could be right, but this is a huge mistake. I prefer to hire and delegate, even if they do the job at 50% of my ability. Delegating and leveraging people's time will allow you to grow. If you don't know if you are working on your business or in your business, just answer this simple question. If you take a month off vacation in a remote country and have no signal on your cell phone, Will your business continue to operate as usual or does your business require for you to be present every day? For example, if you own a landscaping business but you have to use your own personal vehicle and you have to cut the grass, are you in business or do you just own a job? It is important that we do not confuse self-employment with an actual business. When I had my management job at my 9 to 5, many people questioned why I was working for someone else and not working as a cashier in my convenience store. The going rate in my city for a gas station or convenience store clerk is between $7.25 and $12 an hour. It does not make sense for me to work as a cashier when I can easily make that rate multiple times doing something else. This is the reason why I replaced myself with an employee once I understood the function of the position, instead of ringing up and charging customers myself or dispatching them on the meat markets, I focused my time on building systems and creating training materials for them. 
Speaking of employees, the second sign that you are ready to grow is that you have built a strong team. You will never be able to grow without a good staff on your side. They are the face of your business and they are the ones that communicate with your customers. They will bring in new and fresh ideas and will identify problem areas in your store. It is important that you become a good leader by treating everyone fairly, know how to keep them motivated, and that they know and embrace your vision. My team knows that my plan is to expand to multiple locations. The plan is simple. We always have the shelves full of inventory. We treat customers like family and we are always ready to serve. They understand that my plan is for them to grow into a management position where they will be able to help me run a store one day. Sign number three, you have more business than you can handle and are running out of space. Once again, you have been in business for a while and you start noticing long lines of customers at your register. You see vehicles slow down by your store, but leave because there is no more parking space. On the same note, although you are selling tens of thousands of dollars a week, the inventory does not fit on the shelves anymore. You keep adding more items to your inventory, but have no place to showcase it. Your shelves, walls, and even your store ceiling are full of inventory. You are certain that you would sell a lot more if you had more retail space. These are all good signs. The fourth sign is that you have proven the concept. You are profitable and have the financial foundation to open a new business. You have no issues making your payroll every week. You have money in the bank after replacing your inventory sold, paying your building's rent or mortgage, paying the operating expenses and bills, and paying yourself and your team. At the end of the day, we are all in business to collect the profits and make a living. It is your decision if you want to lower your salary to save up money faster for your second location. The fifth sign that you are ready to expand is that you have successfully built a local customer base as well as customers from further away. So after being in business for a while, slowly but surely you have built a local neighborhood customer base and you start seeing new faces of customers who drive from different parts of the city. Customers start asking you, Hey Sergio, when are you opening a store near me? Now just to be clear, it is rare that customers will drive across town to your store to purchase a bag of Doritos or a 12 pack of Coca-Cola. There are gas stations and grocery stores in every busy intersection across the US. This is the reason why it is imperative that you have a competitive advantage differentiating you from other convenience stores. This can be accomplished by offering certain services inside your store like check cashing, money transfers, and bill payments. Or you can offer hard to find items like children's novelty toys, perfumes, wallets, Mexican candies, or can also offer the best cuts of beef in the market. The sixth and last sign that you are ready to expand to a second location is that you have identified a market for a different location. You start to identify that there are no convenience stores in a certain neighborhood in your city. This may be an outskirt of your town or an old neighborhood where the big box stores are staying away. You can take over an existing convenience store or repurpose a commercial building and convert it to a convenience store. The possibilities are endless where there is demand. Since we are talking about grocery stores, remember, another person's crumbs might be enough to fill your tummy. This is the end of the video, millionaires. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give me a like. If this is your first time stopping by, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I upload content like this about my convenience store, about my real estate rental business, and about my property owner financing business. My goal is to make you a millionaire. Without sounding too scammy, I want to let everyone know that I have started working on an online course how to purchase and successfully operate a million dollar a year convenience store. The reason why I decided to build a course is one, to make a profit, of course. I really don't know why people don't like to say that. And the second reason is that I will be able to go into much more detail on the specifics on how to run and operate a store without boring my subscribers who do not own a store. I will cover whether a convenience store is the right business for you where to find convenience stores for sale, 
Whether you should rent or purchase a commercial building, what permits and licenses are required, how to manage staff, payroll, taxes, expenses, how to increase sales, the equipment required and the store layout, additional revenue streams inside your store, how much you can pay yourself, where to purchase and how to price your inventory, where do you find vendors, and what entity to register your business as, etc. Let me know if this is something that might interest you. I searched and couldn't find anything similar in the market. I really hope this course can help business owners become more successful. Thanks again, millionaires. God bless.